Hey guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel depending on when you're watching this video. Happy New Year! It's a new year. We are now in 2023 and I'm excited for all of the wonderful things that we have planned for this year. So we are back with another episode of my tiny adventure series in my Korea save file and we are following the lives of our K-pop idols. That's right, they're just idols now. They're a regular idol group. They have finished up their rookie year and it's time to move on on to some more bigger and better things but first we have some things to address so Kazan Niam is here in her office and she's with Sunny because well she's going to talk about a very sensitive subject with her and this this might not be what Sunny wants to hear but it's kind of what she needs to hear. She's gonna argue with Sunny because she already knows where this conversation is going and she's going to argue with her about her meals. Actually, Sunny, before you sit down, can you do me a favor and just go step on that scale, please? Oh no, Sunny's checking her weight. I mean, I don't know if you guys can tell, you probably can't, but Sunny has put on a couple of pounds. I don't think it's pretty noticeable, like you really can hardly tell. But I'm sure Kwaja Nim has noticed because unfortunately it kind of is her job to notice things like that. And clearly she wouldn't say anything if she didn't have to, but her own bosses have been telling her to maybe pull Sunny aside and talk to her about it. So they're gonna have that conversation. Sunny, you've put on 10 kilograms. I don't even know what to say to you. You think that's okay? You go kantana? Aniyo Kwaja Nim. Kurasa we. Do you not want to be an idol anymore? Sunny doesn't even know how to respond to that. Oh my gosh, <laughs> she's so embarrassed. Oh, I feel so bad for her. This has got to be tough to hear. You need to fix this and soon. So it is a little while later and the girls are now in a salon because they are getting their makeovers for their upcoming comeback! Woo! Yes, we have finally started comeback preparations and that means everyone gets to get a new look. I'm going to let these girls finish getting their hair done and then I will come back with you when we are in the studio doing our next comeback activity. We are here in the studio because we are filming for our YouTube channel. We are going to be filming the girls as they record for their new comeback. Don't they look absolutely gorgeous? They all have brand new hairstyles. Sunny isn't here right now because she's off filming for her drama. We are definitely going to get her to come back to the studio later tonight and like record all her parts. We are now in the studio and the girls are in a dance class practicing for their next comeback and things are looking good except I do notice that Sunny is a little bit behind and she usually isn't like she is the lead dancer but for some reason she's not keeping up with the rest of the girls. I don't know, and we're not the only one that notices it. Their dance teacher, Park Taya, she's looking at them and she's not liking what she's seeing. <laughs> so Daya is going to actually come over here and scold Sunny. It might seem a little bit harsh, but having a strict dance teacher with a keen eye is the reason that INTL is as successful as they are. So she's gonna argue with Sunny about keeping in time with the music. Sunny, how am I supposed to give you instructions when you're just marking the moves? I need you to wipe your eyes. You never dance like this. What is going on with you? Oh, Sunny can't catch a break today. 
Sunny went over here in the corner and she's just going to cry a little bit because she's just been having a rough couple of weeks. There's like some family drama going on and then all of the backlash that she's still getting in the media and then Soman and her have like not been on speaking terms for weeks and it's just a lot of pressure added with the comeback coming. I guess like she's just been like stress eating. So we are now in the gym because, you know, instead of going home and resting after a grilling dance practice, they have to be in the gym. Soman doesn't like to have breakfast in the morning. She'd rather wait until lunchtime. Oh, they're discussing their diet. The girls are just super dedicated to maintaining themselves. Um, so it looks like Sunny has like really 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 low energy and Jisoo came off her bike because she was like she noticed Sunny was swaying around a little bit so being a model she knows that the industry can really force you to do some not so healthy things we're gonna ask her if she's eaten today Sunny doesn't necessarily want to lie to Jisoo but she is the oldest member after all and she doesn't want to set a bad example for her younger members she should be expressing to Jisoo that she's super hungry but I think she's gonna lie instead and tell her that she already ate of course I ate I'm just tired <laughs> oh no Jisoo isn't falling for that she's gonna discuss body shaming I'm gonna pretend like you didn't just lie to me but we both know what's actually going on. This diet talk makes me so sad. All the girls, they're so young and they're all so pretty in their own ways. I wish the industry wasn't like this. But alas, we are back at the dorms and pretty much everyone is asleep right now except for two of the members, Soman and Sunny. So we're gonna check up on them and see why they're awake at this time. Sunny's still feeling pretty down, but even after all of that working out and just like exhaustion, she's gonna still push her limits a little bit because she's dedicated. She did not like the way it felt to be yelled at by the dance teacher or to be cautioned by Kazagnim. And she just wants to put her best foot forward and present the best version of herself in her mind to her fans who love and support her. So she's gonna grab her plum watch, go to fitness, and she's gonna start doing some sit-ups. <laughs> Sunny is on the kitchen floor doing a bunch of sit-ups. She's eating a very miserable salad. <laughs> Sunny, don't worry. Hang in there, okay? We'll make it through this, I promise. It is later on in the morning, and Sunny, Jisoo, and Soman are out doing Pilates. This is the Pilates studio that Jisoo regularly goes to. Jisoo just wanted to give Sunny an opportunity to work out a little bit, something that's like less stressful. She knows that Sunny has been really concerned about like her weight, so she thought this would be a nice activity for them. So men actually surprised her by asking to come along. See, what had happened <laughs> was yesterday it was kind of revealed that the school of violence case, the victims, they settled out of court. And what that means is the company did end up offering them some compensation financially if they just kind of dropped the subject. So she wanted to come along and just make sure that they didn't get the wrong idea. Like she didn't ask the company to do that. That Pilates really worked out their course. So first we're going to have Soman discuss work with Jisoo. Jisoo, I hope you don't think that I was responsible for that court settlement. She's like, yeah, I don't blame you for that. The company made that decision. It's still super unfair that people like us have like that privilege over others that we can just make our problems go away with money. Yeah, I understand. And I'm so open to like calling the victims and like talking to them and like maybe trying to actually hear their side of things. Ooh, Jisoo looks unimpressed. I love Jisoo. She's just such an honest person. In. like if she has a problem it'll show on her face we are in the photo shoot studio they're about to take some concept photos right now y'all i am obsessed It's still 
super early in the morning, but of course our little happy pills don't mind that. They're always in the mood for fun. Jinju and Jia actually asked the photographer if they could stick around for a little while and help them take pictures for the sim talk trend that they're about to do. And it's so funny. Watch this. Get down. It's nice to get some fresh air every once in a while, which is why the girls are here outside and they are at this very beautiful glamping spot. This is for like tense glamping. They're out here because they are filming another episode of True TV, their variety show for INTL. Please excuse if they look like they're all dressed for completely different events. It's because the girls are actually wearing sponsored clothing from brands today. So yeah, they all have different looks going on. Oh, Sunny looks really worried about eating their plate of fruit. Sunny, it's fruit. You're not going to gain weight from it. You know, there's actually Actually something Jisoo has been meaning to bring up for a while now. It's something her model friends have been like discussing whenever they have downtime between shoots. She's going to get to know. Hey Gia, random question, but what's your MBTI? Apparently the quiz says that I'm ISFJ, whatever that means. Actually, everybody just take the quiz right now. They're all retaking the MBTI quiz on their phones right now. I wonder what they're gonna get. I got INFJ, what does that mean? INFJ means that they seek meaning and connection in ideas, relationships, and material possessions. They want to understand what motivates people and are insightful about others. Conscientious and committed to their firm values, develop a clear vision about how best to serve the common good. Well, I don't know about all of that, given, <laughs> given recent events, but I love it if you say so. I got INFP. An INFP is someone that's idealistic, loyal to their values, and to people who are important to them. They want an external life that is congruent with their values. I'm ESFJ. She's warm-hearted, conscientious, and cooperative. Want harmony in their environment. Work with determination to establish it. Yes, Jinju is always the mediator in every single situation. She's the first person to be right there trying to set things straight and calm everybody down. Yeah, ISFJ like last time. Gia is ISFJ, which means that she's quiet, friendly, responsible, and conscientious. I wouldn't call Gia quiet, but... <laughs> ENTPs are quick, ingenuous, stimulating, alert, and outspoken. Oh, Jisoo definitely speaks her mind. <laughs> good at reading other people. Yes, <laughs> Jisoo is so good at reading people, especially Sunny. Like every time she's the first person to call Sunny out on all of her lies or like if somebody is in a mood, she'll pick up on it like that. Oh, while the girls are all talking, Sunny just snuck away for a little bit. She's just been in such a bad mood. She just wants to be by herself. <laughs> I guess INFP is really correct. I'm also an INFP, by the way, you guys. <laughs> I just thought that was a random thing I threw in there. It's kind of cool that I'm sending out the same MBTI. Anyway, let's take a look at her mood list to see what's kind of going on in her mind right now. So she's sad. She's having a mood swing. Sad because I'm sad. You wouldn't understand. Nobody would understand. No, Sunny, people would understand. You're not alone. She's also dwelling in emotions from being a feeler. Being sad makes me feel even more sad. Relatable. <laughs> sad from people peeling away, from feeling hurt by someone nearby. Can Sunny truly call herself a people person when her friendships come apart so easily? See, I told you, her relationship with Soman has been weighing on her mind. Overthinking from being an introvert there are so many questions going through Sunny's head right now and most of them are pretty negative Sunny get out of your head I should go from being a feeler me and that person don't get along I feel weird being near them her and so man meanwhile the Simon question is just out here that the biggest smile on her face just living her best life no but I'm sure she notices that Sunny has secluded herself and you know, Jisoo usually is the one to go and comfort Sunny, but her and Gia are like <laughs> knee deep in this MBTI thing. They're obsessed now. <laughs> so she's actually going to go over and maybe talk to Sunny. We'll have Soman come here and discuss Sunny's sad mood. Sorry for leaving like that. I kind of just wanted to be alone. 
did you need something? Yeah, I need our honey back. You've been walking around like your dog died. What's up? Talk to me. Is this about the whole diet thing? Kinda, but not entirely. I've just had a lot going on. I feel like I have no energy. And not just physically, I mean like mental energy too. I think someone should maybe say a couple words to boost Sunny's spirit. Yeah, let's try to cheer her up. She's like, Sunny, it's gonna be okay, love. We're gonna get through this. I know I probably didn't help <laughs> by being the way that I was. Regardless of our past, I'll always be an open ear, okay? So please unblock me on Kaka Talk. We will let the girls enjoy the rest of their glamping trip and the next time you see you guys, we will be getting very, very close to making our comeback stage. We are backstage at Music Bank because we are going to be doing the first recording of our comeback. It's going to be pre-recorded. We're going to be lip singing, partially lip singing. Our mics will be turned on, but the backtrack is gonna definitely be louder. Is she giving herself a pep talk? She is. She's going to look in the mirror and say, hey, even though Kwa Jung Nim and some of the other managers think that I don't look like an idol, I think I look great and I'm going to get out there and perform like I've always performed. I'm a dancer, not a model. So I'm gonna go out there and be the sunny that I've been for the past 18 years of my life. Honestly, I cannot believe that Hazang Nim said she needed to go on a diet. What? Be very for real. So the girls are going to relax a little bit and then go get changed and then they are going to tape their recording and we will see you guys out on the stage. <laughs> performance was fire. See, the girls are even glowing red because it was so hot. Definitely not because they got sunburns earlier. <laughs> this is a moment. I'm going to really love this era. I will explain more about their concept and this comeback in future videos, but we are going to leave it right here for today. Thank you so, so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please leave a like and a comment down below telling me what you thought. Also subscribe because it helps out the channel and hit that bell icon to receive post notifications of whenever I upload because I have a ton on of content coming for you guys this year we are super duper busy guys intl schedule is packed and i can't wait for you guys to see what we have in store so stay tuned i love you guys and i will see you next time bye